Hey yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another moving vlog. However, I'll be giving you guys a tour of what the house looks like. This is actually a completely different day. I forgot to film an intro again. I don't know why I'm having an issue remembering to film intro. So yeah, just another type of moving vlog. You guys seem to really like these. Go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, well here we obviously have the entryway. It's got this cute little shelving here. I feel like I might put a little rack of some sort of shelving right here for shoes and stuff. I'm obsessed with this carpet because it's just the perfect color. It has just the right amount of speckles that you can't see much on it if it should get dirty, but I'm pretty sure the carpet is new. Going to be Kale's room though. Obsessed with the baseboards. Here is his closet space. It comes with wall mounts for TVs. I don't know if Kale's gonna have a TV in his room. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that yet, but it is available. This is the bathroom that the kids will be sharing. Hey yo. <laughs> but just nice little cabinets. Here is their bath and shower. There's a window in here, which I really, really love. Natural light in the bathroom. And then this is my favorite part. <laughs> their bathroom actually has a linen closet in it which to me just makes so much sense. Then this is going to be Navy in the baby's room once the baby stops sleeping with me. So they have these little built-in shelves and this sitting window, which I love so much. It'd be great for storage purposes for the new baby and obviously Navy stuff. And then I can't wait to decorate this little area. Nice spacing here. And then again, the closet is the same way, a little bit bigger. And Navy will be sharing a room. This room made more sense for the girls. I really like the hardwood floors in here. Here's a coat closet. Here is the laundry room. It does come with a washer and dryer, which was huge because most of the places we were looking at did not come with a washer and dryer at all. The living space, I'm not sure if I wanna put the TV up here or above the fireplace yet. I don't know if I wanna get it mounted there, but I feel like I don't wanna take away from the mantle. So I might just get the mount for the TV for there or a TV stand. It's a gas fireplace. Over here we have the kitchen. They left the bar stools, which is one less thing for me to worry about. Also comes with a fridge, another big bonus because most of them did not come with the appliances intact. A large open sink, perfect to bathe the baby in. And then here is the pantry. Never thought I'd miss a pantry so much, but after not having one in the townhome, <laughs> I'm really glad to have this space again. And then a nice little area right here. This will be my first time having a gas stove. And then I didn't even notice this. You can cook on this, yes? That's kind of like a griddle area? I don't know. Someone tell me because I'm not sure. And the dining, I guess, or eat-in kitchen area has two sitting window spaces so i can't wait to decorate those as well i'll have to get a table since i don't have one yet here is the kids favorite part and mine i finally have a covered patio so i'm going to put my chairs here this nice space so i'm going to get some like water activities and possibly a trampoline for the kids. I'm, I'm so grateful for this right here. Moving on to the master. Y'all, I teared up. I cried when I saw this and they gave me the tour just a second ago. I was in tears. My childhood dream has been to always have a sitting window. I have been begging my entire life for one of these. And when I saw one in like Navy and her sister's room, I was like, oh, <laughs> You guys get to live my dream. Like, that made me so happy that someone could experience it. But then when I came in here and saw it, I was, I literally, I'm not even exaggerating. I was crying. Also have the TV wall mount. It's a pretty good size room. And like I said, the baby will be with me for the first few months anyway. So we'll be sharing together. Here we have the master bath, separate tub. I like this tub a lot because there's actual space in it. And the Virginia house, I loved having a tub, but it wasn't that wide. So it was kind of hard to maneuver my thick self, especially when pregnant in that bathtub. So this makes me happy. I got drawers and cabinet space. Hello again. And this 
shower and it has this ledge in the shower which I really like. I'm gonna need to get a step stool of some sort but the shower is a nice nice size it kind of reminds me of my setup you guys know when i used to do like my hygiene routines at my nana's house it kind of reminds me of that <laughs> toilet and then here is my closet which i don't think i've ever had a closet this size i don't even know how i'm supposed to get up there but there's room up there if i need it <laughs> here it is I don't have to share it with anybody i think that's the most exciting thing i don't have I mean, the amount of clothes I have is literally going to take up like one rack. <laughs> it's, I don't even have enough shoes or clothes to fill up this closet, but it won't be so clustered and chaotic. So that makes me happy. But yeah, that is it. That is our new home. I've cried a bunch. I'm extremely grateful. Again, so thankful to my parents and my family to help us get this place so that we could be here with them. I can start creating some sort of stability and memories with my kids and get ready for the new baby. Extremely ready to just get settled in. So let's do that. Okay, I'm ready. The two in the new house. My family did a majority of the stuff. They packed a lot. I think my next few videos are gonna be like of me organizing room by room. Not really in the position to do like a deep clean <laughs> of the new house. Obviously, I didn't have any time to do it before moving in. I'm already out of breath. <sighs> but everything's pretty much moved in and kind of separated into their correct rooms. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today, y'all. That is my welcome back to Texas. Not a cloud in the sky and 90 degrees <laughs> on this day. I think I'm gonna take you guys with us to Target because there's a few things that I need to do. My room is not done at all. My room, kind of putting stuff away and Target and that's probably all the energy I'm gonna have for today. We'll see. Super Target. Where is the Starbucks in this Target? Okay, we just need a few things. I think I'm gonna do the ocean. Have I done the ocean before? Or was it the Bora Bora waters I did last time? Oh, but Paradise is 15% off. I don't know if I like that. Mm, the last spray away. Oh, the thing is broken though. Maybe not. This Target is really limited. They don't really have a lot of the stuff that I typically would buy. She's going for it. So this is kind of throwing me off as far as what to get because I didn't really want to have to go to another store, but I may not have a choice. This Target is huge, so I'm surprised they don't really have what I would want. I respectfully will never come to this Target ever again because like what? The, it's such a huge Target. The options are so few such a large store i'm not understanding okay not saying i'm going to but i'm gonna look at some bedding because i feel like mentally i need new bedding i think it would just kind of help me start over a little bit if i got some new sheets and whatnot i'm obsessed with these pillows i really love casa luna but like hey what hey I love linen, and linen sheets are my favorite. They are expensive, though. I kind of am feeling like green. I might have to wait. Maybe when I set up the baby's bassinet and everything, I'll also kind of redo my bed. I love this color, like the teal. Those are cute. I like all those colors. Aren't those pretty, Nene? Those are mine. Is it yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, good to know. Okay, I think I think we're done here. Mommy needs a break, so we're gonna check out and then head home. Back home, I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up. I'm gonna have to go to Walmart tomorrow because Target didn't have everything that I needed. There's actually supposed to be a brand new Target like being built closer to me. I thought it was already open, but it wasn't. So for Floor cleaner, I got this Method Squirt and Mop. I've actually never used it before. 
but it smells pretty good. Even Kale said I, he liked the smell of it, and I feel like it will match kind of some of my other cleaning products. I'm excited to try this out, won't lie. Then I just got some Dawn dish soap. They had no type of Windex multi-purpose cleaner or none of really of the other multi-purpose cleaners that I used to use. But I saw this. I'm a fan of Clorox. It's never steered me wrong before. This is the first time I've seen the free and clear. So I want to try it. See how I like it. I got the kids some new toothpaste. They needed some more. This one is color changing. The kids are pretty excited about it. <laughs> I bought this squeegee, which is way more than it needed to be. Last time I went to Target, they had like a 99 cent squeegee, which is what I was looking for. This one was like $9.99. Nearly $10 for a squeegee. Uh, I could have just stole one at the gas station. But I'd be streakless. Some downy scent beads. I have three of these already, but I picked up two more just to spread throughout the house. And then I got the Bora Bora waters. I was trying to keep everything similar in scent for my cleaning products. So the Ocean Mist, the Bora Bora waters, this hard floor cleaner, this doesn't have any scent to it, so it's fine. But the Lysol wipes that I use, the coconut water and hibiscus type scent that way when I clean it's kind of all one smell which is big for me I try to keep it similar sometimes it doesn't always work that way but when I can find stuff that I like that's all one scent then it's it's perfection the house smells so freaking good because you have coordinated everything together I got some OxyClean, another bath mat for my bathroom, and a loofah for me, a loofah for the kids. Night lights, I got two packs of these. Um, LED, it's super dark here at night. I realized that our first night here, and I was like, I'm not usually afraid of the dark, but I needed some light. So I got some of those, and I was sweating, even though it was 69 degrees in the house. I was dripping in sweat. The pregnancy y'all really getting to me right now as far as temperature goes. So I bought myself this fan. I still need stainless steel cleaner. I need glass cleaner. I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then we'll kind of start getting everything organized and put away. Okay, so funny story. My rest yesterday, I ended up turning into a nap and then I didn't do anything. So today I'm going to start organizing stuff. We're gonna start with my closet because I feel like this would be a good room to start with because there's so many boxes in here. And I know that some of the boxes in my room have clothes and stuff that I need to put in this closet. But I wanna organize all this stuff first. This is stuff that people have gotten me from my baby registry. I know some people from YouTube have also asked me about my baby registry. I have updated to my new address. It is linked in the description box if you would like to get us something. But yeah, I'm just going to start hanging up the clothes, putting up the shoes. There's toys and stuff in here that need to go in like the kids' rooms that don't even belong in here. I got books, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. I'll probably put them in the TV stand that's in the living room for right now. But I plan on getting an actual TV stand. Some more books and stuff. So let's just go through here. I don't know where my tripod is, so I'm just gonna have to find a place to set you guys up.
I'm actually almost done, but my groceries have arrived. The room's a bit more chaotic now because I had to separate boxes and luggage and stuff. It's so cloudy today. It's supposed to rain all day, but it hasn't actually rained. Groceries are here. Let's see if they had the rest of my cleaning supplies. If I can find, did they, oh, there's some. Please tell me they have the spray, yes! Finally! Okay, the spray wig stainless steel cleaner. Look what I found, y'all. I told y'all how I've been obsessed with these wipes. Walmart had them in the disinfectant spray, so I'm so excited for that. This house about to smell so freaking good. I got some more glass cleaner because I'm almost out. I got the kids a bunch of snacks. My daddy's actually coming over in about an hour and a half. He wants to bring us lunch. My dad works from home, so he's going to bring us some food. Okay, I don't think I got the rest of it. So I had saw that they had this scent in like the toilet bowl cleaner, the toilet bowl kind of like click gels and the toilet seat things that you put in. You know, that way it cleans it every time you flush it. And bathroom cleaner. But I guess they didn't have it because I didn't get it. But I at least got this, so I'm excited. And I really, I really needed stainless steel cleaner. So I'm gonna have the kids put the groceries away because I'm almost out of breath. But I need to finish my closet and bedroom. I wanna get that done before my daddy comes because I'm gonna ask if he'll help me put the baby's bassinet together while he's here. So all the boxes are cleaned out. I think I'm done. I need to get one more laundry basket because I let Trevor have the other one and I need two to separate my stuff. Hi, baby girl. You want to come see my closet? So here I have kind of my bins. It's broken. I know. We'll have to get a new one. Or we'll have to see if Pawpaw maybe can glue it for us. Your shirt is covered in chalk. They've been using the chalk. I got them from Target yesterday. And here I put like my gym bags and gym stuff, luggage here. I'm gonna get a shoe rack so that way I can put shoes all at the bottom here. That's just my wedding dress. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell it yet or donate it. Just the baby registry stuff again. More of my kind of organizing bins that I don't go for that often. So they're at the top, extra hangers. I put my books in the rolling cart here and close. I was gonna color coordinate, but y'all, I really don't have the energy to be doing all that right now. <laughs> and then I put my purses all here, but that's pretty much it. Like, she's so clean other than that. And I decided looking at this, that my wardrobe makes me so sad. Like when I look at it, I'm like, I don't really have cute stuff. Like I have dresses that I really like, but I wear mostly t-shirts and sweatshirts and sweatpants. Like I don't really have a nice wardrobe that I'm proud of. So once this baby is born, I'm getting rid of my entire closet. Probably not the dresses, but everything else I'm donating it and I'm starting over. I'm creating a new me because I also want to like get a makeover i want to get my hair done my eyebrows done my eyelashes done i want to get braces or invisalign god willing because navy remember i had the gum issues when i because i was pregnant with navy so like i didn't get to finish my aligners that i had for my teeth before but we're gonna hope after this baby i can do it but i want to be somewhat unrecognizable in a good way <laughs> But the closet is so freaking clean and spacious. I'm gonna vacuum in here later. I'm just gonna quickly organize my bathroom. I'm not doing anything too intense right now. Just to clear off the space and put away the stuff from like traveling to Texas and stuff. And then 
this stuff goes elsewhere. And then my daddy should be here. I'm gonna put my hair dryer and flat iron in here. Do the leave-in conditioner. Dry shampoo, which I don't really use much, but it's there if I ever need it. Oh, one of the, there we go. Extra conditioner. Don't like having to wear things in the front, but I've used that dry shampoo maybe once. Usually my hair gets pretty oily when it's flat, but I haven't really been having that issue. When, it, when my hair is flat, when my hair is straightened, <laughs> it gets oily. I don't know why I said flat like that. There, I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna do my face brush scrubbers and Shave refills there. We'll do all our face products on this side, I think. So we'll do the shave. Things down there. Bliss products. Moisturizer. I think I'm gonna put my scrubs that I do have in a drawer. I don't have very many scrubs, but I got the Bikini Reef. I got the Peach Sorbet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this one in the shower because it's the one I'm using to go with the body wash I currently have right now. I have this unscented scrub from Hermana's, then the Whey scrub. I think we'll just put all extra, all extra bath products in here. I have Q-tips. I have a lot of Q-tips right now because um, Q-tips sent me a PR package with some really cute stuff, but then obviously they sent me a bunch of these as well. At some point, I'm going to get organizers for these drawers. Like I start getting my skincare and hygiene products stash up again, I'll have more stuff that I want to put in here. But for right now, this is pretty much it. <laughs> We'll put deodorants in here too. We talked too long. We did not get the bassinet set up before my dad had to go back to work, but that's okay. We'll do it another day. I'm gonna unwrap all this stuff that I got from Target and plug them in really quick. And then I'm gonna lay the kids down and vacuum because the floor really, really needs to be vacuumed. Y'all know I have partnered with Vac Life before. I am still rocking the vacuum. I love its simplicity. I love the weight of it, especially right now during pregnancy. Something heavy pushing around a house trying to clean is just not doing it for me knowing I'm high risk, but just in general, like nobody wants to be pregnant and pushing around something heavy. So this is very lightweight. I love it. Really easy to use, simple to clean with. I love that it's adjustable. I showed in my previous video how you can adjust the height to your liking. My kids are obsessed with vacuuming as well, especially Navy. So I like that I can lower it for her when she wants to do it for me or for Kale and then raise it back up for myself. Battery life remains good for reference. In Virginia, our home was around 3,000 square feet and it worked all the way through that. This house that we're currently in is around 1650, I believe. So it works perfectly for this size as well. One thing that I've had an issue with in the past is cordless vacuums battery dying too quickly before I could actually finish the house. And that's quite annoying. Don't have that issue with this one. The transition from carpet to tile to hardwood is done very well. I've never had any issues with it. And I love that it leaves the little vacuum lines in the carpet. That's my favorite part. But overall, very easy to use, simple to clean, very lightweight, and I'm still going with it. I will have a link in the comment section down below as well as the description box if you want to get your hands on one of the vac life cordless vacuums
going to end the video here. I'm going to take this out of the dryer, put what's in the washer in the dryer, and tomorrow I'll do. Hey, hey yo. Hey yo. Tomorrow I'll do more laundry and more. Actually, those need a couple more minutes. But, but it's getting evening time, so I need to feed the kids, get them bathed, and then go to bed. So, you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Say bye.